everybody, I'm Laura Trump coming to you from Studio 45 at Trump Tower in New York City. Despite all of the attacks on people of faith these days, Christians have never had a greater champion in the White House than President Donald Trump. Joining me is the best-selling author of Why I Couldn't Stay Silent, One Man's Battle as a Black Conservative, David Harris Jr. David, we are so excited to get you on the show. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it is my pleasure and an honor, Laura. Thank you Aww. so much for having me. Love your show. Love uh, everything you guys bring, and it's an honor to be here. Thank you. Well, I want to talk about your book. Listen, as the title of your book suggests, why could you no longer remain silent? Well, you know, Laura, it was after the third debate between, uh, at that point, Donald Trump running for president and Hillary Clinton, that as a Christian, as a father, as a husband, as a business owner and as a member of the black community, and I stated it in that order, uh, I just had to share my thoughts and feelings over who I felt was best to lead our country. And I didn't have a social media profile page. I had about 1,500 friends and I poured my heart out, Laura, and it, the main overarching point was on the point and the fact of the president, uh, now President Donald Trump is pro-life and he was pro-life. So. I hopped on Facebook to my 1,500 friends. I ranted. I poured my heart out, and the video went viral. It hit 50,000 and 100,000. It wound up hitting over 400,000 views. And my inbox was flooded with messages from men, women, Hispanic, Black, Asian, White. That's a, a, a similar theme in so many messages was that their their whole family were Democrats, that they were a Democrat, that they were going to vote for Hillary. But because of my message, they said they were going to vote for Donald Trump. Oh my and God. so I, I had to just continue to share uh, what I believe this president was going to do for our country. Uh, and he's done it. Uh, he's appointed two Supreme Court justices that are constitutionalists. Um, he's, appoint he's appointed 187 judges in total. Uh, he's literally doing what he said he was going to do. And I really believe that for those that champion pro-life, especially as Christians, uh, he's the only choice for us as president this coming year. Yeah. Well, I know you supported him before he became president, but I have to ask, are you happy with what you've seen him do? I am so happy. I'm ecstatic as a, a all of those as a father, as a husband, as a Christian, as a member of the black community. Um, he's done so much for religious liberties and freedoms for our country yeah. and for believers. He's done so much for the black community. Um, he didn't have to do anything for the black community. He didn't have to make it a point to uh, pardon Alice Johnson, the, the 60 plus year old grandmother that was facing life in prison for a nonviolent uh, drug offense. He didn't have to pardon Jack Johnson. Um, he didn't have to push for prison reform, yet he did. Um, and uh, in passing the tax reform bill, he's, uh, he's opened up the door for uh, the opportunity zones where $100 billion will go into over 8,700 communities around the country having an amazing impact on black and mostly minority communities. So he didn't yeah. have to do any of these things, but he's done them. And uh, the proof shows record low unemployment for the black community, Hispanic community. Um, it just continues to do nothing but get better for minorities in this country underneath this president. Yeah. And we're only three years in, David. So there's uh, there's so much more to come. Um, you and I actually were together in Miami just last week at the launch of our campaign coalition, Evangelicals for Trump, where the president had this to say. A society without religion cannot prosper. A nation without faith cannot endure because justice, goodness, and peace cannot prevail without the glory of Almighty God. You know that very well. You know that very well. For America to thrive in the 21st century, we must renew faith and family as the center of American life. There are those who say these sacred beliefs are outdated, but we know they are just the opposite. Our traditions and our values are timeless and immortal. They don't know what they're missing, right? They don't know what they're missing. All right, David, we were both there in Pastor Maldonado's church in Miami. Um, I had chills at certain points of this event, and I say it all the time, but I truly believe that God was in the election in 2016. God is leading this president every day. And this is, it's not a mistake that Donald Trump is our president. How else could he withstand everything that's come at him and do all the great things that he's been able to do? 
Tell me about how you found the event and, and why is it so important that we have this Evangelicals for Trump coalition? To have so many different pastors there from different denominations, all supporting this president uh, was amazing. To see the openness and the willingness to play the worship music that they did. Brian and Jen Johnson of Bethel Music are personal friends of mine. And uh, they opened it up with music uh, that was playing. And when we walked out of there, it was playing. But there's just something that you cannot, uh, you cannot get anywhere. And that's, that's feeling God's presence. Uh, so for his presence to be there in that event with the president, championing this man to become the next president for our country, I absolutely believe that uh, it is God's will. And I believe that it's necessary for Christians of all backgrounds and denominations. Yeah, well, I'm so glad you were there. I'm so glad that uh, I saw so many familiar faces. Uh, I want to turn because you have, David, a huge following on social media. I, I love looking at your posts. And you love trolling people by posting videos of you wearing MAGA gear in public. A lot of times you're uh, like on an airplane, getting on an airplane. Tell me about, first of all, why you started doing this and what are the reactions that you typically get from people? Well, Laura, I started doing it because, uh, again, I'm not the stereotypical Trump supporter or person that supports Republican uh, Party beliefs. Uh, we're supposed to be all voting for Democrats. You know, somebody sees me, they see a black guy uh, and they say most people assume that I've voted for Obama and that I'm a Democrat. So I just saw it as my duty to represent this president, show the public that uh, black Trump supporters do exist. I just want to say on behalf of really the entire country, but really on behalf of our family, thank you for doing what you do. It is not easy to get out there and support this president because the mainstream media has vilified him and anyone that supports him. Although we are the silent majority, there are so many more of us out there that exist than, than they ever know, than we'll ever get up and, and say it uh, outwardly. But it's so important that you do what you do. Just just based on on those two stories, I mean, you're, you're changing people's minds every day and you're making people stop and say, wait a minute, just because somebody told me this, maybe that's not the fact. You're amazing. So I just wanna say thank you for doing everything that you do. It, it's so, so important. Well, it is my honor to do it. It's my honor to support this president and to be in this fight. I think we're all in the fight. We're either on the sidelines or we're swept away with propaganda. And I think that uh, I'm gonna do everything that I can to wake up as many people as possible to help make sure that we get Donald Trump reelected as president again this year. Yep, we need four more years, that's for sure. Well, David, keep doing what you do. We will keep watching all of your uh, your posts because they're awesome. And thanks, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure, thank you so much, Laura. God bless you. People of faith know they have a great champion in the White House. That's why they're rallying to Donald Trump in 2020 like never before. That's the real news for today. If you'd like to get involved with Team Trump, go to DonaldJTrump.com or text Trump to 88022 to join our winning team. I'm Laura Trump from Studio 45 at Trump Tower in New York City. Thanks for joining us, everybody.